All right, my friends, so many people have been asking me about this. How do you find the low point in your short shots? It's very important that your low point is the point at which you make contact with the ball, but if you don't know where that is or your positions are incorrect, you're always gonna be doing, you know, chunky, thin, horrible chip shots. You're never gonna have any consistency. So today I'm gonna give you the keys to one, find your low point and how to use it to the best use for you. Here's something that we have to realize. When we set up, most of the average player sets up pretty good. They know to put their weight on their front foot and the ball center of their stance, or they, some people even put it back. All that's great. Here's where the problem occurs. Most people move their low point in their swing backwards as they take their shot. And that is 100% uh, the wrong direction. You do not want to move your low point backwards, but it's so difficult to deal with because you're trying to keep your hands ahead of the club head and just have this pendulum swing. And when you swing the pendulum like this, it forces your weight to your back foot. So how do you keep your weight on your front foot and control your low point when you strike the ball? I'm gonna show you that right now. Key number one, it's not about finding your low point, it's about controlling your low point. Just remember that. Because to find it, all you do is just set up wherever you are comfortable setting up and just letting your arms relax. This would be my low point where everything just hangs down. That's where it is. So here's step one to control it. This is what I want you to do. On every short shot, we're just going to this short pin here. I'm hitting this a few yards. Watch my right back foot. I'm always gonna finish up on my toe. This is not my toe as much as it might look like it. That's not my toe. You see how much weight is on the back foot? That's not the toe. The toe is gonna be like this here and no weight is on it. The shortest possible shot is where you're gonna practice this. That's how you know for starters that I'm not going back this way. When I go back, all the weight is on my toe. I went no weight on my toe. I should be able to just pop it on the ground just like that. That's key number one. Key number two is this. I want my chest, and I'm just going right here. I want my chest to face when I'm done, like not at the target. I want to be way left of the target, about you know, 20, 30 degrees. I'm going to face my chest way over this direction, and I want the ball to go here. You don't have to rush it. Don't be quick about it. Smooth. Chest is way over here. Ball is right there. That's going to be your second key. Never forget key one and key two. I keep rotating my chest way over here and even look way out there. That's gonna make sure that my low point is never moving back. Most people do this and they rock the shoulders and they don't turn. All I care about is turning my chest way left over there. I don't even care where the ball goes. I care where my weight goes. I care where my low point goes. Moving on. Third and final key is this. Get your little range basket. You can do this drill and it's gonna force everything to work out perfectly. I wanna set up here on my ball, okay? Then here's my low point, obviously, is where I'm gonna make contact with the ball. I'm gonna put this club this way and I'm gonna set it directly in line with my target. This rim is about halfway down the shaft of the club. All right, perfect. So I want the ball to be able to travel just to the right of it and not hit it. So I'm set up perfect. Everything's good. Weight's good, slightly on my front foot. I'm gonna hit my shot. Now, I want my club head to travel to the inside of this basket. So I'm gonna hit my shot. And my club's gonna stay low down here. If I come up, the club head's gonna go over the right rim of the basket. I don't want that. And I don't want it to go over the middle of the basket. I want it to stay down, rotate, miss it, and go to the inside of it every single time. My ball should be to the right side of it. I made it. 
I did not hit the basket. That's great. Great. Maybe if you nicked it a little bit, you can back it up. But hitting it's not a bad thing because that means you didn't come up. You didn't rock this way. You stayed down through it. So I just moved it a little bit more forward. I really don't want to hit it, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm just trying to rotate the club head to the inside. Keep it nice and low. That's what you want right there. It's forcing you to stay down on your shot. And that keeps your low point from moving backwards this way during your short shot. My low point here is actually gonna be moving slightly forward because I'm turning and rotating on the inside of that basket. And so my low point is not necessarily here. It's gonna move a little bit forward, which makes you uh, hit the golf ball first and the grass second. And the more you rotate, the better you'll be. This is how you find and control, more importantly, the low point on your short little chip shots. Thanks for watching, love you guys. See you in the next video.